Hello, this is Nathan Lott, and on today's episode, I'm going to be talking about a really cool service called Raindrop.io. This is for managing and keeping bookmarks for web services. It's, this app is available everywhere. So it's a website. You can go and view the, all of your bookmarks on their website at Raindrop.io. It's also a browser extension for Safari, Chrome, Firefox, Opera, and Microsoft Edge. It's also a Mac app and an iOS app for iPhone and iPad. Let's go ahead and open up Safari and go to Raindrops page. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with my account and I'm using sign in with Apple. So this is all my bookmarks on raindrop.io's site, but it's also available as a, an extension for Safari up here. As well as an extension in Chrome and in Firefox. So as you can see, it looks the same pretty much everywhere. There's also a Mac app for it which again, just looks like the extension, but in its own app. Let's take a look at the pricing. So for free, you get unlimited bookmarks, unlimited collections, unlimited devices, more than 2,600 integrations through services like If This Then That or Zapier, apps for Mac, iOS, Android, Chrome, Safari, Firefox, and Edge, share and collaborate, up to 60 megabytes of files per month, and then all the essential features like search, edit titles, add descriptions, batch, move, delete, preview articles, images, and videos. For $28 a year, you get everything on the free plan plus full text search, a permanent library. So if a page you've saved is taken down, you still have a copy of it. Nested collections, auto-suggested tags, duplicate and broken links finder, cloud backup, up to 10 gigabytes of files per month, party support by email, and enabled in all platforms. And I went ahead and got a yearly subscription to it. So let's go to the browser extension here. And you have all of your bookmarks, just the ones that have been unsorted, and then all of your collections or folders, and then how many bookmarks there in each of those folders. If I go into the settings, I can export all my bookmarks and I can also import all my bookmarks. So either from Safari or Firefox, I exported all of my bookmarks in Firefox and then imported them into raindrop.io. Now I just have to go through and get rid of old outdated sites and kind of fix the folder structure. But other than that, everything got imported reasonably well. For each bookmark that you add, you can add tags. So if I go into edit up here, I can add a tag and they're comma separated. And that just helps for easy searching. You can also add a description if you want. This button will take you to that website. This will add it to your favorites and then the trash will remove it. I've mainly been using Firefox, so I want to go back to the, the Firefox version of the extension. And if you go into settings, you can either have it in clipper mode or as a mini app. So in Firefox, I have it set as a in clipper mode. So this takes you quickly to add a new website to your bookmarks. If you tap on the double arrows here that takes you into the uh, mini app version that looks like all of the other interfaces let's go back to settings you can change the language the theme so a dark mode or a system wide mode you can make the font size larger you can adjust the ha, what will happen when you click on a bookmark it will either open open in a new tab or you can edit it you have your different buttons that you can have. So open a new tab. I might add the open. You can either do open or open in a new tab. 
I'm not sure what I want there. I think I want it in a new tab. You can have the preview. You can copy the link to a clipboard, add it to your favorites, tag it, edit it, remove it. In the account, you have your user details, information about your subscription. You can import bookmarks, which I said I just did with my Firefox bookmarks. You have integrations, so with Alfred, if this, then that, Zapier, you can connect Alfred searches to Raindrop and then create new apps with their APIs. And then you can also back up all of your bookmarks, export them to an HTML file or export them to Dropbox or Google Drive. If you go to a website that has been bookmarked, you'll notice that there is a little check mark next to the extension, mean, meaning that that site already has a bookmark to it. If I want to add a bookmark, I can click on the extension, put it into a collection. Let's just put this into its own new, new collection called links, and we'll add tags. And if I wanted to, I could add it to my favorites, but I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And now that this site, Pinboard, is added to my favorites under links. The trash behaves similarly to the Mac and in photos and things like that. So it keeps things in the trash for probably 30 days or so. And then you can right click and empty the trash if you want. Now let's take a look at raindrop.io on iOS. And we'll start with the iPad. So if we open it up, you see that the interface is very, very similar all the way across the board, depending on what browser extension or website or Mac app or whatever you're opening it with. It is very consistent across the board. You have your settings, and of course this will change with iOS. So open in browser will open in preview mode, Safari reader view when possible or just it in system default. You can change the theme, light or dark mode, languages, share extensions, so new bookmarks can be saved automatically. You can import your bookmarks, back them up, or log out. Again, all of this looks very consistent across all of the apps, but let's go into Safari on the iPad. And let's say I wanted to save this comic as a bookmark. I can tap on the share, which is the standard symbol of the square with the arrow, up arrow coming out of it. And then in the second level, you look for raindrop.io. You may have to go into more and scroll down until you see it. So there it is, raindrop.io. You can add tags. You have the website. You can make it a favorite. You can copy the link to a clipboard or move it to your trash. When you're done, you just click done. So that's how you add a bookmark using Safari on iOS. Finally, let's take a look at raindrop.io on the iPhone. So we'll go to raindrop.io. So again, I have the same number of bookmarks. All of the folders and everything are the same. I can go to all. I can edit each one. So it's in the links folder. I can change it to another folder. I have my tags. I can add it to favorites if I want. I can share it out or prefer or perform actions on it like through shortcuts or whatever. And that is raindrop.io on the iPhone. And that's going to do it for this video this week. I think it is fantastic that I now have bookmarks wherever I go on whatever device I use, Windows or Mac. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.